Today on Logan Lee Adventures, we explore Chinatown in Buenos Aires and I'm super excited about this neighborhood and all the street art and of course delicious food to eat. In this vlog, you'll also get to meet my friend Sato, who's Japanese but was born and raised here. Friends, this is a new day for a new adventure. And look at this beautiful subway station or subway rail line of Belgrano subway. But there's a reason why I took the train here and I just want to show you because we're going to be exploring Belgrano. Belgrano is a big new neighborhood next to my neighborhood in Palermo. But within the neighborhood, there is a special place I really, really can't wait to explore. It is... Look at that! Ah. It's Chinatown, how cool! So there's a whole Chinatown here in Buenos Aires in Argentina with quite a big population that has immigrated here over the decades and oh my god, there's the fact that there's even a whole gate of China, it's so cool and then within that gate of course is the beginning of the neighborhood but out here, right in the bottom of the gate is, are these cool lions statues. One over there too. Over there, over there. And then this. Alright, let's enter in to Chinatown. This is awesome. I love days like this exploring different neighborhoods in Buenos Aires, especially since I get to live here, I can take my time and see the different things and it's just so cool that this is like, this is like quite a few blocks too. Okay, how cute is this? There's so many stores that just have like these plushies and stuffed animals hanging from it for like Sonic the Hedgehog, Pokemon, oh, Powerpuff Girls too? <laughs> The street is so beautiful with all the lanterns being decorated on top. It's like such a nice pop of red amongst like these huge trees that overlaps the street. And then on both sides are all these different boutiques, shops, restaurants, all different Chinese, Korean, Taiwanese owned places. This is incredible. Look at this cutie McCute store. Ooh, this brand new stash. Y'all, there would be so many Chinese supermarkets here that stocks everything from ramen to like all these like drinks I don't even know about like imported straight from Asia. It's so cool. It is so cool. Like outrageously cool. I mean, I know this is like a normal everyday thing for the locals here, but like for me, you should care. I keep seeing these like street food type fried Asian dishes on a stick basically all over up and down Chinatown so I'm gonna try one because it looks so good even though I've been stuffing my face like all day but that, that's the point right? That's the point. Um, okay so I'm gonna get the calamari on a stick. It's so good. Ah! And maybe, okay maybe I should hold myself and like try like one thing at a time before I get ahead of myself here. <laughs> but look how cool this place is with like the hanging duck. Literally iconic. Gracias. Uh, 
It looks so good from this place. You just deep fried it to like heat it up. I'm gonna try it out. Mmm. Oh my god. Wow. Do you like crunch? It's so crunchy, I love it. This is a whole bamboo Asian plant store. Let's check it out. So cool, I want to check out all the boutiques. There's so many stores around here. Okay, hopping across the street to, this is called Casa China. I get the home stuff. Seriously, just amazed at all these little things. I feel like a kid, you know? I'm always amazed at these. Look at these sketches! Ah, okay. Just public display, public art, you know? It's another one across the street there. So cool. It's like actually carved. I can't read Mandarin, but if anybody out there can, let me know what it says. So cool. But I mean, like, I'm always interested in how Asian diaspora is doing and just basically is especially in places where you just wouldn't think like right away that you know a Chinese population or a Vietnamese population would find themselves in and yet here there's like so many there's like a Taiwanese association just down the street and I just think that things like that is just super cool just to see how literally Asians are all over the world, which I know, I know. I don't want to sound silly. I know they are, and it's like there's not one type of Asians. But you know, this is my first time in South America, okay? And like, it's so cool to like see all this. Plus, this neighborhood is just the bomb. All right, like, just so cool and so. They even sell fortune cookies by the solo. So you can just get one, pop it in, see your fortune. <laughs> so surreal. <laughs> Got myself some bubble tea to enjoy this lovely day, this lovely walk. So refreshing from Casa China. I love the theme art like this. <laughs> so cute. I'm at Ute, which is this Cantonese restaurant. I saw it down the street and I was like, oh, I, that looks so good. I gotta just check it out, pop in, check it out. I know I've been on an eating frenzy, but come on, like, this is the neighborhood for it, right? So I got this fried rice with some ribs. So good. Okay, you know what? Let's let's do without the formalities and politeness. I just grab with my hands. Mm. Mm.
Continuing the food tour of Chinatown, I'm in a place called Royal Mansion, which is pretty funky, pretty cool, and I met up with my friend Sato, who lives in basically this neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. This is my neighborhood. This is, come, so, come to Belgrano, please. Come to Belgrano. Like, literally, you say it so well, Belgrano. I've been butchering. <laughs> I've been saying like Belgrano, Belgrano. Yeah. Like, but he's very gringo, very gringo. <laughs> Logan, I gotta say. The shame. But that's he's an actual local to this neighborhood. He can pronounce it so well. He knows everything. So we met up for some lunch here in this awesome restaurant. We're gonna order a few dishes and try them out. Good. Está rico, está rico. Está rico, muy rico. Can I say muy rico? Sí, sí. Okay. <laughs> So having, after having that awesome, awesome meal, we're now exploring a different, well, it's still in Belgrano, right? Yes. So we're still in the neighborhood of Belgrano. We're out of Chinatown now. But what is this neighborhood? Like, it's called Belgrano R. Okay. That it would be like, like Manhattan, right? Manhattan have Upper East Side. Yes. Down east, so it would, this would be like the Upper Side of Belgrano. Oh, so this is like the Upper East Side of yes. Belgrano. Because it's more, it's more expensive. So we can see that from like, basically the mansions and these fancy architecture all around. Yeah. <laughs> that was, it's really, it's really I'm kind posh. of homeless next to these buildings. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel that too. I definitely, look, this man is wearing like a sweater around his dress shirt. That's as posh as it can come here. I would not mind moving into one of these places because who, like, I feel like these are like century-old homes as well that we're exploring. It's a really cool neighborhood within Belgrano. Already walking around Belgrano R, I can see a big difference to the rest of Belgrano where high-rises are in favor while here, detached homes that were built in Anglo-Saxon architectural styles are like gems lining up and down the cobblestone street. It's giving old money here. This adventure has been such a different style of Buenos Aires that I really, really love. Leave me a comment below of what you think of Argentina's capital, Chinatown. And of course, give this vlog a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because in the next vlog, I'm going to explore the rest of Belgrano and take you with me.